my dear friends we are happy to present before you the third video in the family altar series this video has been recorded at the family altar in the home of albert lobo and family further description regarding this altar will be done towards the end of this video so till then stay tuned the holy catholic church is the bride of christ we are all members of the body of christ but satan is all out to destroy the holy catholic church and he has succeeded by dividing the church many persons have drifted away from the holy catholic church and we would like to reflect on this today i would like to tell you the case of a priest who was serving as a priest of the catholic church lot of good work that he did serving in the ministry proclaiming christ to the people and administering the sacraments but then satan succeeded in influencing him as well and after serving in the ministry as a priest finally one fine day this priest who was doing so well in the catholic church he decides to give up his priesthood he gave up his priesthood and he did not end there he left the catholic church itself and went away and joined another denomination a protestant sect it did not end there remaining in that protestant sect he started hurling stones on the catholic church the same church where he was serving as a priest of the most high and my dear friends this particular priest he started saying a lot of things against the church and he gave a public interview one day and in that public interview he started saying that the eucharist has no meaning jesus does not really come in the holy eucharist the confession sacrament of confession makes no sense he started making such claims my dear friends if satan could influence this person how much more could satan influence other members of the church if a priest could be drawn away how much more strong the temptation could come to other members of the church so therefore today there are so many persons who have drifted away gone away from the church and we feel very sad about it and especially this priest after being a priest for so many years he is making claims that the eucharist is not really the body and blood of christ my dear friends this is something in contrast to what jesus tells us in the gospel of saint john chapter 6 verse 35 wherein he says i am the bread of life whoever comes to me he will never be hungry whoever believes in me he will never thirst jesus is the bread of life and the bread of life is in the catholic church and therefore we see there are so many eucharistic miracles that have happened in the catholic church during the holy eucharist bread and wine have been changed into the body and blood of christ in so many different places and even when these have been sent for testing it has been testified that this is truly human flesh and it has it is the piece of heart of a human being it is ab blood group my dear friends the eucharistic miracles are happening in the catholic church the bread is really transforming into the body of christ there are satanic groups who are all out to steal the host they come only to the catholic church why because they believe that the eucharist is jesus himself they they take this host and they have their agents who come and they rob the host and sell it to them and they take this to their satanic temples and they have the black masses they desecrate why do they come only to the catholic church if uh, jesus does not truly come in the holy eucharist my dear friends there are persons who have gone away from the church and they have become blinded they have become blinded and now they are throwing stones on the catholic church this is what we see happening in the book of acts chapter 7 
verse 5 and following we see how saint stephen is addressing the elders addressing the people addressing the scribes he's telling them you all are a stiff necked people you are resisting the spirit of god my dear friends today this same resistance to the spirit of god is seen by these people who have been blinded and they are and there is further uh, misconception there is further deceit that is happening and they are trying to influence other members in the holy catholic church so my dear friends as members of the one holy catholic apostolic church we really need to be convinced of the faith that we profess we need to be convinced that jesus is with us but sometimes my dear friends our people get misled and therefore they are prone to all such attacks i was once traveling on the highway and when i was traveling on the highway there was a nice board that i came across a nice board on the highway and the board read like this you are a national wealth wear seat belt my dear friends if we have to be safe we have to wear our seat belts and that is what you know this board was suggesting that you are a national wealth so for your safety wear your seat belt now as we move around in our spiritual life we also need to take care of our spiritual safety so that you know we are not we don't drift away from our mother church so my dear friends how do we take care of this always remaining faithful to the catholic church because when you're faithful to the catholic church you are deeply rooted in the word of god and you are uh, you listen to what jesus wants to tell you my dear friends nobody can shake you remember today the word of god is being interpreted in so many ways people are interpreting the word of god according to their convenience but we should never be misled remember that when jesus was being tempted by satan satan also tried to misinterpret the word of god he tried to tell jesus to jump down from the cliff angels will come and protect you he was misinterpreting psalm 91 So my dear friends this there are a lot of wrong interpretations happening in the world today and people are leaving the catholic church and they are running here and there they are running after this person and that person and the word of god already warns us regarding these people many will come in my name jesus tells us and say i am he do not go after them so my dear friends let us remain faithful to the catholic church let us be deeply rooted in our faith sometimes we are catholics but we do not know our faith well we do not know our doctrine well we are not convinced of our sacraments and we don't avail of our sacraments so let us take this message to heart today let us become a stronger christians let us become more deeply convinced of our faith rather than just living as namesake catholics Let us pray for this grace my dear brothers and sisters Dear friends after I got married in this family the first thing I came across is the altar such a silent place the quieter place we find really peace in every corner of this room when we are sad when we are happy we just come to the lord and we share our joy our sorrows we say our personal prayers sitting in front of the lord after our day's work we all get together in this prayer room we say our angelus our rosary followed by the next day's liturgy word of god and at the end of our rosary we all get together as a family we give blessings to each other with a warm hug and we thank god for the day every morning as we get up and come by this altar we always come here and bow and show our love towards our god every morning as we are bowing a short and sweet gentle song will be always played over here this altar was not like this before Everything is changed the tiles the statues the monuments everything is changed our ancestral family has bought the altar from the hall to a special room we had made for it as my brother said we wake up and go to the family altar to get jesus's blessings before we leave for school we gather in the family altar to do a short family prayer we bless with holy water and oil on our forehead which our grandma used to do it for us and now continued by our mother we praise god for our family altar aamcha 
ऑल्टरा भाषे फेमिली ऑल्टर हम आजे जाऊँ सोता कि पैलो हम ऑल्टर भाई रूम में आसो जे सगले सोयरे ये बसता रोजारी थी जागर को रोजार करूँ फ्री नासली डिस्टर्बन्स जो फैमिन चिंले एक बरी स्वाद घर का सुशेगा तो रोजार करूँ देव मोगान अपने भावार्थान तीस रोजार कि करूँ मगण कर फैमिन चिंतन एक सेपरेट प्लेस ही हमें तैयार के लिए सोली हंगसर ये पर्सनल प्रे वो फैमिली प्रे ये आलतारा मुखार को चोड़ चोड़ वो खुशालका भोगता कि देशन खुशालकन आजे कड़े मगण कोता